Hello everyone, welcome back. This simulation activity is intended to provide a foundation for understanding the TCP IP protocol suite and the relationship to the OC model. Simulation mode allows you to view the data contents being sent across the network at each layer. As data moves through the network, it is broken down into smaller pieces and identified so that the pieces can be put back together when they arrive at the destination. Each piece is assigned a, spe assigned a specific name protocol data unit do and associated with a specific layer of the TCP IP and OSI models. Packet Tracer Simulation Mode enables you to view each of the layers and the associated do. The following steps lead the user through the process of requesting a web page from a web server by using the web browser application available on a client PC. Even though much of the information displayed will be discussed in more detail later, this is an opportunity to explore the functionality of Packet Tracer and be able to visualize the encapsulation process. In first part of this lesson, I will examine HTTP website traffic by using Packet Tracer Simulation Mode. To open this mode, just click the Simulation Mode icon to switch from Real-Time Mode to Simulation Mode. Then select HTTP from the event list filters. After editing event list filters, click Web Client in the far left pane. Next, click the Desktop tab and choose Web Browser icon to open it. In the URL field, enter link and click Go. Because time in simulation mode is event driven, you must use the capture forward button to display network events. Click the first colored square box under the event list and info column. It may be necessary to expand the simulation panel or use the scroll bar directly below the event list. The PDU information at device web client window displays. In this window, there are only two tabs OC model and outbound PDU details because this is the start of the transmission. As more events are examined, there will be three tabs displayed, adding a tab for inbound PDU details. When an event is the last event in the stream of traffic, only the OC model and inbound PDU details tabs are displayed. The other side, ensure that the OC model tab is selected. Under the Out Layers column, ensure that the Layer 7 box is highlighted. This is the application layer, and the HTTP is being used in this layer. Look at the layer 4, you can see what the destination port value is. The destination port value is 80, and the source port value is 1025, running the TCP. Next, look at the layer 3 field. Check the source IP address and destination IP address.
Let's check the lower layer field. It contains Ethernet header. I guess you can see the source MAC address and the destination MAC address. Now, click the Outbound PDU Details tab. Information listed under the PDU details is reflective of the layers within the TCP IP model. Note the information listed under the Ethernet section provides even more detailed information than is listed under Layer 2 on the OSI model tab. The outbound PDU details provides more descriptive and detailed information. The values under Destination MAC and Source MAC within the Ethernet section of the PDU details appear on the OSI model tab under Layer 2. OK, now click the next colored square box under the event list, Info column. Only layer 1 is active not grayed out. The device is moving the frame from the buffer and placing it onto the network. Advance to the next HTTP info box within the event list and click the colored square box. This window contains both in layers and out layers. Notice the direction of the arrow directly under the in layers column. It is pointing upward, indicating the direction the information is traveling. Scroll through these layers making note of the items previously viewed. At the top of the column the arrow points to the right. This denotes that the server is now sending the information back to the client. Comparing the information displayed in the in layers column with that of the out layers column. To know clearly the data transmission. Next part, the final one, I will display elements of the TCPIP protocol suite. In the event list filters, visible event section, click show all. Click the first DNS event in the info column. Explore the OSI model and PDU detail tabs and note the encapsulation process. On the other side, find the first HTTP event in the list and click the colored spread box of the TCP event immediately following this event. Highlight layer 4 in the OSI model tab. In the numbered list directly below the in layers and out layers. TCP manages the connecting and disconnecting of the communications channel along with other responsibilities. This particular event shows that the communication channel has been established. Finally, click the last TCP event. Highlight layer 4 in the OC model tab. Examine the steps listed directly below in layers and out layers. Conclusion this simulation provided an example of a web session between a client and a server on a local area network. The client makes requests to specific services running on the server. The server must be set up to listen on specific ports for a client request. Thank you for watching this video. Hope this would help you to understand more clearly about TCPIP and OSI models.